So here we have an interesting problem, three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. And it's equal to one of these choices and the other three are incorrect. So let's go through and just analyze each choice until we can find the correct one. So part A is nine cubed. And so the question is, is nine cubed equal to what you see up here? Well, you could do this. You could write the nine as three plus three plus three, because three plus three plus three is actually equal to nine, and then you would have the three here. And then is this equal to what's up here? Well, no, right, that's not gonna be the case. Um, you know, you could say this, but this would be super wrong, right? This is not a property of exponents. You can't do that, so that's super, super bad. So it's definitely not gonna be the first choice. The second choice given is three to the ninth, which again seems a little bit weird because this is equal to three to the three plus three plus three. So that's also not gonna work, right? Because you would have to say that that's equal to three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. And that's not the case. Again, this is not some property that is true in mathematics. So not the case. This is actually going to be the answer right here. And we're gonna come back to it shortly and I'll explain why and how you can get this answer and it's actually really useful to understand how because it's a technique that comes up in other areas of math and we'll talk about that later but this one here is just like super wrong because 9 it would be this and then 9 is this so yeah it's just it's even worse than the first two choices it's just very very wrong there's no way it's equal to what's up here so how do you get three to the fourth from this? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. The way I did it when I first saw this problem, immediately I did the following. Let me pick a different color here. Let me go back to blue. So I'm gonna write the answer in blue. We have three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. And the way I did it, and maybe you think it's weird, but this is how I did it. I looked at this and I, th I thought, okay, there's one of these, there's two of these, there's three of these. So there's three of these. So this is three times three cubed. And if that doesn't make sense, just think about it as X. If it was X plus X plus X, that's the same thing as three X because there's three X's. So same thing here. It's three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. So there's three of them. And now you can use properties of exponents. There's a one here. And because the bases are the same, you basically just add the exponents. So this is equal to three to the fourth. So that would be the correct answer. Kind of a interesting problem because if you just look at this and you don't really like think about it or, or maybe your algebra is weak, it's really, really easy to, to look at this and not know how to do it. Now, you could come up with the answer straight from the choice here. So let's try that. So if you have three to the fourth, Right, you can say, okay, that's equal to three to the one times three cubed. And again, that's from properties of exponents because here you would add the exponent one plus three is equal to four. This is just really three times three cubed. And so you have three of these. So then it's three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. And so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, okay, another way to do it is to look at the original question, which was three cubed plus three cubed plus three cubed. And you could just say, okay, three cubed is 27. This actually just occurred to me right now. I really didn't put that much thought into it. My solution was the first one I showed you and it was pretty quick, but 27 plus 27 plus 27. So that's just equal uh, it's going to be 81, right? It's going to be 81. So you could do it that way. And then you say, okay, three to the fourth, that's also 81. And if you're not sure if it's 81, you can think of it as three squared times three squared. Right? Properties of exponents say that you add the exponents here. So that's nine times nine, which is 81. So therefore this is equal to this because they're both equal to 81.